heading back to physical therapy. So physical therapy for me today was absolutely killer. He had me on the table facing up and he was looking down at me and stretching my arm. And I was in so much pain. And so he said, is the sun in your eyes? I wanted to say, hey, no, you're killing my arm. You're killing me. Uh, But I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to stretch me out. Uh, and try and get some range of motion back. I've completely lost range of motion in my left arm and uh, it's, it's just moving the darn thing is really, really, really hard. And I'm contemplating doing something that's really, really kind of off the grid. I wanna live in a van and uh, live on the streets and do some traveling. And I know I can't do it until I get back into shape. This has been going on, this darn pain for over 14 weeks now, 15 weeks, it just continues. And I've really lost a lot of range of motion and ability to move. If I move it the wrong way, I'm just in excruciating pain. And it just seems like really unnatural. Uh, They're not sure whether it's a frozen shoulder or if it's something else. I've been in so much pain that they haven't been able to do all the diagnostics they'd want to do. So one good thing is I'm going to the doctor tomorrow and we'll see if there are any changes. But I can tell you, it hurts like hell. It's not, it's been very much fun. Uh, And when you get all these things happen, you just have to be prepared and roll with the punches and know that life uh, has its share of problems, uh, that it isn't all a bowl of fruit. And I know if I do this crazy thing about becoming an urban nomad, Uh, and living the van life, that life is going to be plenty difficult, that it isn't going to be all of the romantic notions that I have about traveling and seeing the country from a van and uh, living the minimalist lifestyle. I know it's not going to just be as easy as everybody uh, makes it out to be. I know that there are going to be some challenges. And maybe the first challenge, my physical challenge, is the one that I'll have to overcome and and a harbinger of things to come, I hope not. Uh, I hope things go smoothly and and it turns out to be a wonderful experience. But life has taught me that uh, while there are good things in everything and you must look for the good things, not everything is gonna work out exactly the way that you imagine it or the way that you want it to. So anyway, I'm having fun, and uh, I think just thinking about the lifestyle has been a lot of fun. Currently, I mostly uh, stay in my little BMW, and it has become my little traveling van. (laughs) I I say that because uh, I put up special curtains, and... uh, uh, it works just like anybody, anybody other, any other kind of RV. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, it really lacks space. <laughs> I like it because it's kind of funny. message to young people. I remember when I was younger, when things didn't go the way I wanted them to, I would get so frustrated. And my message would be, roll a little bit more with the punches. Things aren't always going to be the way you want them to be. (laughs) And have fun, because life is truly a journey. And this one, (laughs) this adventure, it's going to be a lot of fun. But it's been a lot of fun. Uh, And of course, I haven't left my land-based 
uh, home yet. Uh, that's coming very soon. I'm just tired of paying rent, you know? You get to a point in which you've paid someone else's mortgage long enough, and it's time to do something different. If what you've been doing hasn't worked, then you gotta try something else. And I have spent some time in an RV, I, uh, or at least in the nomadic life. I have been doing some touring. It's not like I have no experience in it, but uh, being out for six weeks or, or longer, I was out for four months last year, uh, isn't the same as being out 24 seven. Uh, it's, just, it's just not, and I know that. Uh, but it'll be kind of exciting to see where this all leads me, and I really appreciate all of you and your comments. I got some great comments the other day, and they were very helpful, and I was able to tune into their pages and see what they're doing. And, uh, you know, it's a community. Maybe for the first time, I'm finding a community that I can really, really, really relate to, and that maybe relates a little bit to me. Um, so I got to say this, uh, but please really, if you like the video, please push the like button. If you subscribe, you won't miss uh, the future adventures uh, that I'm having. Uh, please share the video. Uh, we always appreciate that. I always appreciate that. Uh, and for sure, leave your comments because I'm learning so much about this lifestyle and what to expect and what to do and what not to do. Uh, I know I'm gonna make some mistakes, but the collective conscience, the collective knowledge is all powerful for me. Okay, well thank you and we'll see you soon, bye.